on, yo! Well, Chase and I are headed to Chatsworth, Georgia, looking for those beautiful bugs in sedimentary rock. That's right, we're looking for trilobites. It's trilobites at the base of Tibbs Bridge in Chatsworth, Georgia, on this episode of Rock Counting USA. Well, we have arrived here at Tibbs Bridge in Chatsworth, Georgia, and behind me you see the steep path down to the riverbank. Uh, you can see the water is up pretty good. We're hoping that the layers are not inundated beneath the waves, so we're ready to crack some shale and uh, see if we can split them open and find some of those beautiful trilobites. What do you think, Chase? Ready to rock? Let's do this. Just an abundant shale here that's just been broken up right here underneath the bridge and just need to start looking at it and start splitting some of the larger pieces. Well, I had only been splitting for less than a couple of minutes and grabbed a rock to flip it over and saw this little guy. And it is a little guy. You can see it right there. But that is a trilobite right here, Chatsworth, Georgia. All right, about the third rock that I picked up, broke it open and check it out. Look at there. But again, these are very small. Uh, maybe half the size of my pinky nail. Uh, we definitely got brown bugs in Chatsworth, Georgia. And so what you want to do is you want to split the layers, find the cleavage planes, find those uh, bands, those horizontal lines, uh, those bands, and then split between them. And then you want to peel apart and you want to examine the layer. Chase just had another score. So, see that right there? Damage, it goes right off the edge of the rock, but nice little, nice little mold. You can go through the shale that is directly below the bridge. This would be the south side of Tibbs Bridge. So we are looking basically north at this point. One word of caution if you come to this area, especially if you have small children, uh, you know, it looks like the water is pretty deep just right along the bank and it's fairly steep where the shale is and it's fairly slick as well. So might want to reconsider having the small ones with you uh, and uh, you know, you need to be very, very careful. I have no idea how deep the water is right along the bank, but I can tell you that today the water is flowing pretty swiftly and so want to make sure, you know, safety first. Those trilobites are awesome, but it's not worth anybody getting hurt over. So, uh, just exercise caution when it comes to the water, as always. If you go through the woods to the east of the bridge just a little bit, you will see a very steep embankment that goes down to the river as well. It looks like the shale, a lot of it's already been broken up. It might be actually trilobite surface collecting, if you can believe that. So, we're going to examine and explore these slopes looking for Georgia bites. Pretty steep for the second collecting location, just to the east of the bridge. But notice the ground is just completely made up of decomposing shale. So we're gonna see about surface collecting. For oh, another one. Look at there, let's see it again. Let's see it again. Well, we're doing, notice we haven't done any splitting. We haven't. Yeah, this stuff is very, very fragile. These layers of shale very, very brittle and just stacked like pages of a huge book. Just ready to be peeled open and to read their story. Well, it's about time that I had a little victory. So there we go. Look at that rusty little guy in there. Again, very small. Love to see that under a microscope. Probably a lot of detail there. Looks like it. Rain is just now starting to fall, so we're going to have to start scooting pretty quick. Uh, great experience if you're into smaller fossils. Again, this is not like uh, the trilobites you're going to find out west in Utah at UDIG. You know, the larger specimens are going to be very flattened, a lot smaller, uh, very, very brittle, very brittle shale. Hopefully we'll find a few more before the rain forces us to head north out of Chatsworth, Georgia. Looking right over here, follow the finger, and look at that guy push in. Look at there, right there. He's laying right on the ground, surface collecting trilobites. Who would have thunk it? Well, we hate to leave, but the rain's moving in here in Chatsworth, Georgia on the banks of, what is it? Conasaga, Conasanagua, Consagua, 
Canasagua, the Casanagua, the Canasagua River. Just go underneath the Tibbs Bridge on the south side and look for the brown shale. It's very brittle. These fossils are gonna be pretty small, not really micro fossils, but most of them are about half the size of your pinky fingernail. And they're kind of brown, molds or casts in the kind of tan uh, to brown shale. Chase and I have found trilobites all over the country from Utah to Missouri, uh, Indiana, and now Georgia. And we appreciate you spending time with us on this episode. And we look forward to see you next time right here on Rock County, USA. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you get a few moments, hop on over to our web store where we have great rock hounding t-shirts, sweatshirts with just that right message for the rock hound in all of us. Thanks.